just start out with how are you doing, how have you been since we last saw you, you know, um, last month? Uh, you know, I'm doing well. You know, my, my fight went great. So I'm pumped about that. You know, uh, one of the, the big things I always say is you're only as good as your last fight. You know, it seems like uh, a lot of fans, you know, remember if you won or you lost the last fight, and that's about it. So, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how that went, you know, and I'm, I'm doing well overall. You know, I've been in the gym a lot. I've been training, having fun. You know, I haven't been I haven't been killing myself. You know, um, with crazy, crazy rounds and stuff like that. But I've I've been in the gym. You know, and just you know working on new stuff. Okay, and your last win, um, it was a it was a first round submission victory via Kimura. Um, did you expect that fight to go that way, and did you expect to be able to finish that fast? Um, you know, I'm always looking to finish fast, but uh, you know, we, we kind of thought he was going to be a little more defensive. Uh, you know, we weren't super impressed by his offensive abilities, but, you know, he, he was kind of a, a tough egg to, um, tough egg to crack in a lot of the other fights. You know, he didn't really engage, you know, head on all that much. It was kind of, you know, he'd circle away and really move backwards a lot. And, you know, we thought it was going to be tough. We were going to be chasing around, uh, you know, a lot more. Um, you know, but I got him to come forward, and, you know, I, I made him pay right away and, you know, put him down. Okay, awesome. And how how important was it for you to, to obviously every fight's important to win, but especially coming off the loss to George Sotiropoulos, um, did that give you any extra motivation or added pressure to go out and perform well in your last fight? It's definitely it's definitely motivation, you know, coming off a loss. Um, you know, I, I don't think it was added pressure. You know, I think I put enough pressure on myself, um, you know, or that, that doesn't really affect me. Uh, but it's definitely, I mean, it, it, coming off a win, it's kind of tough because, okay, what do we work on? You know, um, you know, the, the last two times I've won fights, I've completely blown the guys out of the water. So it's like, you know, coming off those fights, like, ah, where do you go from there? Um, coming off a loss, though, that there's lots of things that you see. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. I could get this better. I could work on that more. You know, there's, you know, it definitely helps coming off a loss, you know, to kind of figure out where your flaws are. Okay. Uh, correct, me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong here, just to touch on the Sotiropoulos fight real quick. Um, but you, I think you said that you had, like, an adrenaline dump in that fight. You looked really good in, in, in the first round against him, and, and at that time the guy had so much hype around him. You know, he hadn't lost in the UFC yet. Um, and, then, and then in the second round you kind of faded, and you ended up losing. Um, what, was it, what was it in that fight? You know, where, where, did, where did you uh, fail? Um, you know, I, I think that I, there were times I could have pushed a little bit harder, and there should have been other times where I took a little bit easier. Um, you know, I, I think the main thing, though, is just, like I said, you know, adrenaline dump. Um, you know, I, I think I was I was really, really excited with how the fight was going in the beginning where, you know, I felt like I couldn't miss with my boxing. Like, I was, I was, you know, I was on point. I was sharp. I was hitting left and right. I was covering up. I was moving away from his punches. You know, my footwork was good. Everything was great. And I think I just got a little overexcited. You know, I, I didn't expect the, the stand-up, you know, to go that well for me. And, uh, you know, when it, when it did go so well, I think I got, you know, a little over excited, a little bit, you know, um, you know, way too happy about it, and I just let my nerves get the best of me. Okay. And that's, that's obviously something you you took away from that fight and learned from, and we we shouldn't expect to see that from you again, right? No, I'll, I'll not be getting that excited again. I, you know, I, I I did a much better job, you know, in this last fight. You know, I, I dropped Kurt, and you know, I I see Clown Collector. I was thinking the whole entire time. I didn't, you know, I didn't get too excited, and you know, I just kept pace. Okay. Now. Um, Taking taking it back, taking it back, uh, you know, several years. You, you you debuted for the UFC a long time ago against Jens Pulver, and then you went on the Ultimate Fighter reality show. Um, are you happy with your career thus far, post um stuff? Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm happy with how you know. Overall, I'm happy. You know, obviously, any, any fight I've lost, I wish I had won. Uh, you know, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how everything has been. You know, um, I, I was doing computers, and, uh, you know, way back then, you know, I was doing computers, you know, professionally, and then I was, you know, I was doing jiu-jitsu and, and grappling and stuff for fun. And, you know, but for the last five years, I've got to, you know, train, and that's been my life, and, and you know, and I, I wouldn't take that back. You know, I'm, I'm definitely happy with how that's all gone. My, my opinion of you, and you, and I just want your opinion, if you agree or disagree, but that post, Post, your post Ultimate Fighter career um, has been met with a few disappointing losses, but I've always felt that out of all the out of all the Ultimate Fighter reality um, seasons, you're one of the mo the more talented fighters that maybe just hasn't lived up to to your full potential for one reason or another. Uh, but I feel like you're still you're destined for greatness, you know. So I'm just wondering what what your thoughts are on that, and if you, if you feel the same way. 
Um, you know, I mean, I, I think that anyone that's involved in the sport, they, they have to think that they have, you know, big things ahead of them, you know, and I, and I definitely feel like that, you know, I, I feel like I'm still getting better with every fight, um, you know, but I think that, you know, to, to, to really reach your potential, your full potential, you, everything's got to go right for you, you know what I mean, like, there's always bumps in the road and things like that, but, you know, um, I, I think that those bumps are what's going to make me get, you know, the, the reason I'm going to reach my full potential. You know, I think that every loss has taught me a lesson, and, and you know, I, I don't think it's a sprint. You know, I, I think that with fighting, it's a marathon. You know, it's it's not, you know, your career isn't based on two fights or three fights. You know, it's, it's a long road to get you there. Um, you know, so I mean, I've, I've definitely had some disappointing losses. You know, I've had some fights I definitely think I should have won that I lost, but, you know, it's the way it goes. You know, um, you know they've taught me lessons. They've, they've made me better. And, you know, it's all about, you know, the, the end product, you know, just where I'm at at the end of my career. I don't care about, you know, how it goes in the beginning. All I care about is the end. Okay. Would you agree that maybe the UFC feels the same way? Because they do seem to give you, you know, tough opponent after tough opponent. You know, it seems like they have a lot of faith in your abilities as well. Would you agree with that? Yeah, you know, I, I, think, I think they have a lot of faith in me. Um, you know, I, I've taken tough fights. Uh, like the, the Kenny Flynn fight, you know, I thought it was a little bit early. But, you know, the, the USC said, you know what, we, we think you're ready. You know, you know, they didn't expect it to be a tough fight. You know, I lost that one, but, you know, but, you know, I stepped up and, you know, and I got better because of it. Um, you know, and, you know, all my fights, you know, I, I thought the same thing with the Sarapis fight. I thought that was a, a little bit of a step up. But, you know what, I, I did it and I got better because of it. So, I mean, I, I have no regrets, no, no complaints about any of that stuff. Um, you know, I think the UFC, you know, is, is, is looking, you know, long term for me and, you know, and, and, you know, and I'm, I'm happy to, you know, follow that plan and, you know, just get as good as I can and, you know, I'll take tough fights when I have to and, you know, when they give me a little easier fights, I'll take those too. You know, I'm, I'm just all about the, the end product. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what do you think, what do you think about the, the, the current, um, state of your division? The UFC lightweight division has just recently got an influx of talent from the WEC and those WEC guys seem to be doing good as well as there's a lot of new faces popping up, too. I mean, what do, what do you think overall of that division? Uh, the lightweight division is the toughest division, period. You know, there's there's, a couple, there's there's several guys all at the top, you know, that are all, you know, having dog fights for who's going to get the next title shot and everything else, you know. Uh, I think we definitely have the deepest division for sure. Um, you know, uh, Frankie and Gray are fighting real soon, um, you know, to, to have a champ. And after that, there's around six or seven guys that are all waiting, you know, chomping at the bit to get, you know, title shots. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad, you know, I would rather be in, a, in you know, the toughest division, you know. Um, you know, like, I, I wouldn't want to fight in heavyweight. Heavyweight's a weaker division, um, you know, but lightweights are, you know, we're, we're packed. You know, all the WEC guys that have come in and new signings, things like that, you know, it's anyone can be cut at any time. And, uh, you know, we, we get the best guys, bar none. Right, I agree, I agree. Okay, um, speaking of guys that, that have been chomping at the bit for a title shot, um, you've been linked to, to be getting ready to face Melvin Gillard. That's something that I think was announced like last week or so to the public. Um, this guy's on a tear. Um, looking at his record right now, he's won his last five UFC fights. What do, what do you think about him? What do you think about this fight? And are you happy you booked it? Um, yeah, you know, I'm happy about it. Um, Melvin said in an interview or something that, you know, he, you know, he wants to fight, he wants to stay active. And then, uh, you know, of all the, the lightweights that were available, you know, I was, uh, he said I was like the, the best one that was, you know, that was available or something. And, um, you know, and uh, I definitely, I'm, I'm happy with the fight because Melvin is, is definitely ranked higher than me. You know, I've, I've kind of been on a win one, lose one kind of, you know, roll for a little while. So, uh, you know, Melvin, you know, has, has been much more consistent than me. He's put together five in a row. So beating a guy like that, you know, definitely puts me way, way closer to the top than I'm at now. Um, you know, and, you know, I, I think it's an exciting fight. Uh, you know, Melvin's super explosive. Um, you know, he likes to talk. I like to talk. Um, you know, so I'm, 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 I'm happy with it. You know, I think it's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, I think it's a very winnable fight, too. You know, I, I know Melvin's stuff. I know that, you know, Melvin, you know, uh, has some, you know, serious threats, you know, both hands and, you know, everything with the striking and things like that. But it's a very winnable fight. You know, I think he's got some big weaknesses, too, and, you know, we're going to try to exploit them. Right. Um, I, I, I don't want to give your, your, whole, your whole game away, and I know nobody wants to do that, but his, his obvious weakness is going to be in the grappling rage, I, I would assume. I mean, when you look at his losses, that's pretty much, you know, where he's, where he's 
been defeated. Nate Diaz, you know, was able to catch him. Um, that being one of your strong suits, do you think that this matchup favors you? Over yeah, him? you know, I, I definitely think it's a good matchup for me. Uh, because, like you said, his his biggest, you know, glaring hole, his biggest weakness is one of the areas I really excel at. You know, I think I'm very, very good at mixing in, you know, punches and things like that to set up, to set up submissions. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure Melvin, you know, working submission defense, things like that, but you know, I, I think I attack it, it a little bit different angles and, you know, whether it's, you know, diving for submissions or, or whatever, that are, are pretty tough to train for. You know, um, you know, I think that, you know, a, a lot of people break down tape, but I think if you go back and, you know, watch tape of me, it's pretty tough to break down because I do so much, you know, crazy random stuff every single fight. Like, I do stuff, I've done stuff in fights that I've never done in training. You know, like the the come on, you know, whatever. That, that's something I don't do in training. It was just it was there, and I took it. So, you know, it's tough to train for someone like me. But you know, I, I think that we can, you know, predict him pretty good, and we, we can, you know, paint a pretty clear picture on what he's going to come with and how he's going to fight. And you know, I think it's clear, uh, pretty clear cut, you know, game plan, which is you know, get him to the ground and, and you know, catch his mission. Okay. And what do you think about him, like his persona specifically, and, and the way that that he's already in a sense, calling himself the best lightweight in the world, um, that, you know, he, he, he's due the title shot he wants. I mean, he, he, this is a guy who has all the confidence in the world, and he's not afraid to talk about it. I mean, what, what do you think about that? Uh, you know, I, I think he's jumping the gun. You know, I think, you know, anyone running around, you know, ranting and raving about them being the best lightweight in the world, the uncrowned champ and all that stuff is, is uh, you know, <laughs> those are some big shoes to fill. Um, you know, and I, I think it's crazy. Um, you know, there's still, you know, half a dozen guys in the division that are all ahead of him, you know, so I think to be, you know, claiming yourself as the champ is a little bit crazy. But, uh, you know, he, he can do what he wants, you know, he's getting some attention for himself. Uh, he's always been enough of a nice to me, you know, I've, I've heard some, you know, some people saying, he's, you know, he's, he's kind of brash and whatnot, but I mean, he's always been nice to me, he's always been polite, so he's going to go out there and, you know, nothing personal, but, you know, I'm going to go at him like, you know, like a caged animal and, and do whatever I can do. Okay. Awesome, Joe. Um, anything, anything else about about the matchup that that in, that intrigues you? I mean, maybe ele- I mean, obviously, elevating your status in the division. Um, but is there anything else that intrigues you about this fight? No, you know, I, I think that you know it, it's a it's a really good fight for me because it's a very winnable fight. It's a guy that's ranked much higher than me. Um, it's a guy that called me out. You know, it, it's kind of a win win situation all the way around. You know, if I go out and win, I'd be the guy that was ranked way higher than me. If I go out and lose, well, I got challenged and I stepped up, you know, and, and he's supposed to beat me anyways. You know, it's like all the pressure's on him. I just get to, you know, train like crazy and, you know, go through my camp and just be as prepared as I can be and, you know, go out there and let it all fly. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, that's pretty much all the questions I have for you as far as the fight and stuff like that. Just to maybe a couple off-topic things. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, in opinion on... Uh, on um, Chael Sonnen, the guy, the way he talks, you know, his, his Twitter stuff. I mean, we run a weekly column on BJPenn.com just highlighting everything this guy says a week. Like, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't agree with what he says, but, I mean, yep. guys, I just want to get your take. What do you think about him and the way he promotes himself? Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm like you. I, I don't agree with what he's saying, but I'm a huge Chael Sonnen fan. You know, uh, he's doing stuff that no one else is doing. You know, he has the most ridiculous quotes. And comes up with some ridiculous stuff, you know. But I, you know, I always want to watch him fight. You know, I, if if Kelsey is giving an interview, I'm watching every single time. You know, there's, there's very few guys that where uh, you know I'm, I want to see every single interview they do. And he's one of those guys. You know, he's super exciting. Rubs it in the wrong way. He's actually playing like a heel role, you know, from like professional wrestling or something. You know, he just he's out there pissing off everyone, and it's awesome. You know, it's just it's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> and um. What 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 about your brother? I know that he he's um he's coming off a win pretty late this year. Um, in fact, I think what he's 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 won three since since getting ejected from the UFC. Um, how how is he doing in your opinion? Um, and do you do you expect him to come back to the UFC eventually one day? Uh, Dan's doing good. You know, um, you know he, he's he's put together a couple wins. He's looked great in all his fights. He's absolutely blown out everyone out of the water since the UFC. Um. He's looking good. Uh, the goal is definitely get back to the UFC, but, you know, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, you know, he'd like to get there, but, you know, it's going to take a little more work. Right. And how was, how was your relationship with him? I know that, you know, a while ago there was there was some press. You know, you guys weren't necessarily getting along, having some sibling rivalries or whatever you call it. But 
How is the relationship now? Yeah, I'll get along better. You know, um, I, we're, we're brothers, so we're always going to argue and we'd have little spats and, you know, explode on each other and stuff like that. But, you know, overall, we'll get along pretty good. Okay, cool. And then my last question, Joe, before I, before I let you go and let you, like, you know, do your shout-outs and stuff would be, um, we recently caught wind um, of BJ Penn versus Carlos Condit for UFC 137. Um, what do you think about that fight? And, you know, how do you see it playing out? Just, like, maybe, like, a, a little prediction on his fight. Uh, BJ by whatever he wants, which, knowing him, it's probably not going to be a submission, probably a TKO or a knockout. Um, you know, I mean, I, everyone keeps tossing, you know, for a while, BJ was tossing, you know, tossing the fire with every single fight, you know, St. Pierre and, you know, a whole bunch of really, really tough fights. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see BJ kind of getting uh, a more of an unnormal fight you know, with a guy that's going to be 30 pounds heavier than him and, and everything else. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that fight. I think it's going to be a funny one. I think, you know, it's going to be a very good fight for BJ. You know, we're going to whip him. Yeah, awesome. I obviously agree there. Um, <laughs> no bias. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not at all. Um, okay, so anything else you want to say, something maybe I missed that you want the world to know that you haven't covered on your personal blog or, you know, all the stuff that you write? Um, is there anything else? Shout-outs, whatever. Uh, not too much. You know, uh, check out my Twitter, you know, twitter.com slash Joe Lozon. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always posting all kinds of stuff on there and my Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty vocal about stuff. So, you know, if, if I'm thinking something, it's usually on there somewhere. 